Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So today we got a little cryptocurrency news update. And of course, we'll uh, see what my rigs have been doing. Be back in a bit. Alright, real quick before we get into the news, I got something going on called Bitcoin Fridays. So if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell below. So when the enter to win video comes out, you'll be notified. It's as easy as that, guys. Give away Bitcoin every Friday. I'd like uh, for you to be the next winner, all right? So with that, let's see what's going on in the uh, news. All right, so two pieces of news today. Some of you all may or may not have heard about this. U.S. SEC set to announce verdict on ProShares Bitcoin ETF on Thursday. A little over two days away now. Uh, ProShares Bitcoin ETF and ProShares Short Bitcoin ETF are next on the list of Bitcoin ETFs to be approved by the SEC um, Securities and Exchange Commission. ProShares ETF is one of among nine Bitcoin ETFs waiting for approval by the SEC in the next two months. Unlike the previous ETF proposals, SEC cannot dilly-dally with this one as the regulatory authority has set August 23rd as a strict deadline. Uh, in contrast with the previous Vanek Solidex Bitcoin ETF, the ProShares ETF is hinged on Bitcoin futures contracts. The ProShares first proposed ETFs in September, but the company observed that the Bitcoin futures market was still young. ProShares submitted a Bitcoin ETF proposal to the SEC in December, but we repealed it as the SEC rebuffed many proposals at the time, pointing at the volatility concerns of Bitcoin, according to Coindesk. Um, so this one was submitted back in September, and here we are in August. So what is that? That's all, what, almost like 11 months? So we may have a long time to wait for this one right here. Um, which was just submitted and uh, rejected a little bit ago, that CBOE um, proposal. So, might be a long ways off for that other one. All right, continuing. As per a document dated March 23rd on the official website of the SEC, the regulator had started proceedings to determine whether to approve the rule change that lists ProShares ETF on NICE ARCA. The SEC also revealed that it had received a com. Uh, comment letter about the proposal stating the proposal as a house of cards and expresses concerns that the funds attempt to replicate the Bitcoin futures markets uh, which are related to underlying cryptocurrencies that trade on unregulated exchanges will lead to losses for retail investors and that the inclusion of an inverse fund will add to the risk. That doesn't sound good. Uh, September will see a string of ETFs awaiting SEC approval. The first in line is Granite Shares to be judged on September 15th, which has filed two ETF proposals. The SEC's decision is poised to affect the market prices of Bitcoin. The proposed Winklevoss ETF saw Bitcoin charts spike, dragging other coin prices to the ceiling as well. This suggests that the investor community is eagerly awaiting for a positive news from the commission, but the SEC decision hang, hangs uh, in a cliffhanger. So, if I were to guess, just in my my opinion, this is going to be probably rejected. The best chance of one passing ETF, I think, is this um, CBOE, um, the one that was uh, up a few weeks ago that got rejected. In the long term, I think it'll eventually go through, but I don't think this is going to go through. And I think if it doesn't go through, you're going to see a huge drop in Bitcoin. Just my opinion. Um, eToro to sponsor Premier League football clubs with Bitcoin. Thought this was kind of cool uh, as I'm into soccer. I coach soccer, so... Etoro, a global investment platform, has entered partnerships with seven Premier League football clubs where the teams will be paid in Bitcoin, according to a press release. The Israel-based firm was assisted by sports marketing agency Sportsquake in inking the deal, which took six months from planning to finalizing. 
The partnership includes a range of sponsorship assets like access to players, digital rights, tickets, LED perimeter, um, tickets, LED perimeter boards, and interview backdrops. Etoro will partner with Tottenham Hotspur, Newcastle, Crystal Palace, Leicester City, Southampton, Brighton and Hove of Bingen, and Cardiff City. Um, Iqbal, I guess that's how you say it, Iqbal B. Gandam, Etoro's managing director for the UK, said, the blockchain technology that underpins cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin brings transparency, which we believe can improve the experience for everyone who loves the beautiful game. From fans being targeted by ticket touts or a club negotiating a transfer, we believe that blockchain will revolutionize the world of football. Brand Jones, head of partnerships, Tottenham Hotspur FC, said, uh, at Tottenham Hotspur, we are committed to technology and innovation, and as such, we're excited to welcome the Etoro as a partner in a category that is developing at rapid rate. Um, at Brighton, we pride ourselves in being the forefront of bringing new technologies and new ideas to football. We're excited to welcome Etoro as a partner that can help us better understand the true potential offered by blockchain, said Paul Barber, Chief Executive Brighton and Hove of Bain, of Bain FC said. So that's good news. I mean, over here in the States, soccer isn't as big as it is over in Europe, which is absolutely huge. So this is good news, bullish news for uh, Bitcoin, as it will put a lot of uh, a lot of eyes, tens of thousands of eyes on Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market. All right, so real quick, the rigs, uh, only 14.14 with the Bitcoin this week and 29 cents on my CPU mining Stellite. Got 1,374 Stellite coins. Give me a grand total of 14.78. I tell you what, mining these days is uh, it's a bit depressing. I can probably go back. Let me see here. Let's go back. Uh, two months. Let's go back two months. Twenty-three dollars. That was a bad week. Forty-three dollars. Week eighteen. Forty-three dollars. Bitcoin was only at sixty-seven then. So it just keeps going down and down and down. It's uh, pretty depressing, but what can you do? Uh, it's really going to suck if. Um, that ETF gets rejected, which I think it is, and then we're going to see this Bitcoin price, in my opinion. If it gets rejected, I think we're going to be looking at low fives, maybe upper fours. Just my opinion, though. Uh, could be dead wrong. I hope I am. And definitely don't take my advice on that, but just a little, uh, little gut feeling. Who knows? So total value mine, 543.13. Uh, we are up over last month's 488.15, so that is a bright spot. And in other words, crappy market. Um, 31,150 totals to light. Yeah, uh, so I'm going to keep going with this CPU mining. <clears throat> 1374 so far this week is not bad. May take off in the future. Who knows? Would be good. All right, guys. So, um. I guess that's going to be it for today's video. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and hit that thumbs up if you like the video. I'd appreciate it. Spread the word as well. All right. So with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.